Hello everybody, I'm Natasha Lester. I am the author of The Paris Secret, which is being published in September. And I just wanted to tell you a little bit about the book. The book opens with a young woman called Kat, who is in London on a business trip. And her grandmother calls Kat and asks her to check on a cottage that her grandmother owns down in Cornwall. Now, it's the first time Kat has ever heard that her grandmother owns a cottage in Cornwall. So she's a little bit surprised but she agrees to drive down to pay a visit to the cottage to check that the property is all right. What she finds in Cornwall is a very derelict cottage in an abandoned part of the world, sitting on top of a cliff all by itself. She approaches the house with a bit of trepidation and walks in to discover a fully furnished house, but all the furniture and objects are from the late 1920s and early 1930s, as if the occupants of the house left one day decades ago intending to return but was somewhere lost forever. The more Kat looks around the more her unease grows especially when she climbs the staircase and finds in the very last bedroom two wardrobes. She opens the doors of those wardrobes and inside she finds a collection of haute couture Christian Dior gowns, 65 dresses in total dating back to the very first collection in 1947, one for every year right through to the present day. To, Kat, to say that Kat is surprised is an understatement. She wonders how her grandmother could possibly have come by such an astonishing collection of gowns and why is she keeping them in an abandoned cottage in Cornwall? Kat decides to find out the answers to those questions and it's a quest that takes her right back to Christian Dior's very first showing in Paris in February 1947. And from there, she discovers that there is a connection between her grandmother and Christian sister Catherine Dior, who worked for the French Resistance during the Second World War, was captured by the Nazis and deported to Ravensbrück concentration camp. Kat also uncovers through that connection, another connection between her grandmother and a group of female pilots, who were the very bravest women of all, who flew the RAF's planes during the Second World War in atrocious conditions. Kat can't believe that all of these pieces of history are somehow connected to her grandmother. And the more she finds, the more she realizes that perhaps she doesn't know her beloved grandmother at all. And so she has to decide if it's worth continuing her quest or whether she should leave the past well alone. So that's the story behind The Paris Secret. I hope that you enjoy the book if you have the chance to read it. Thank you.